guys, this is Stukamench. Today I'm going to be going over my Endor Rebel Trooper impression with my DLT-19 light machine gun, like normally known as the MG-34. It's what they used in Star Wars uh, for the model for the DLT-19, so I'm going to use my MG-34 with this kit. So, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. This is just an impression. It is no way, like, 100% accurate cosplay. This is just really for airsoft, so it's functional, and it remotely looks the part. Okay, starting off with the helmet, I have like the normal Rebel Trooper helmet, the metal disc, and the pilot's cap. Um, I had to fill it in with a little bit of foam inside to make it fit, and put a headband on. My gloves, I'm just wearing my, uh, my German Fallschirmager uh, brown leather jump gloves. And then, I know this has a little too many loops for right now, but I have a OD green bandolier, just like normal nylon. This is like a shotgun bandolier. I don't have any thermal detonators or anything on it yet. For my jacket, I have the uh, the licensed Rebel Trooper camouflage jacket, the Endor Commando jacket. It's got a few patches here, some under here. Uh, I'm using a True Spec tan ripstop uh, vest for the vest. Um, didn't want to spend $120 on Etsy for one that looks like the movie a little bit more. As far as the belt goes, I'm wearing an OD green um, just nylon pistol belt. Um, as you can see in the movies, like some of them have leather pouches, some do OD green pouches. And then I just added a couple OD green uh, utility pouches to it on each side for magazines. Uh, in the movies, if you look, there's not a lot of light, rhyme or reason to the uh, to what they're wearing so far. I just have these two utility pouches for BBs and all that. Um, a lot of people do camo pants. I did green ripstop pants down there at the bottom. Right down here, so I have just a normal five. Um, I think they're true spec uh, ripstop pants. A lot of people paint them camouflage, like in the movies, but I kind of looked more for like the Star Wars Battlefront kind of look, so they're more solid colors as opposed to camouflage. And then you can see I have my World War II gaiters on, just my normal German gaiters. Uh, most people do tan boots with this impression. I just went with black, black jungle boots. Um, Overall, it only cost me a couple hundred dollars to do. Um, as far as my backpack goes, I just use the normal, like, like military style Rothko brown backpack, uh, similar to what um, other people use for cosplay. I didn't do the big square backpack with the control panels and stuff on it. So that's about it. If you guys have any questions, leave them in the comment sections below, and please like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you next time.